how to take tracings and measure your feet for making shoe and boot patterns. Hi, I'm Michael Fine, and you probably know me as Bohemond with BootsByBohemond.com. Please support me by clicking like, share, and subscribing. Now this video is on tracings and measurements and it serves two purposes. The first purpose is you have asked me to make you a custom pair of footwear. In some cases, I may also ask you to take a sock form pattern in addition to tracings and measurements, and I will share a link in the description below on how to do that. The second purpose is, is that you're following my Shop Night YouTube channel, and you're ready to generate, create, or make a pattern for boot or shoe making. You will need a friend to measure and trace your foot. This is something that you cannot do on your own. A writing utensil, two pieces of paper, and a cloth measuring tape. Let's get started. Let's start um, on a piece of paper with your toes at one corner and your heel at another. Stand with full weight on the paper and at a 45 degree angle, your first line will be pointed in and almost at the spot where the skin is touching the paper, 45 degrees. The second line will be with the writing utensil straight up and down. The first measurement is the A measurement, which goes over the instep, and you're going to use a cloth tape. So as I come down, I can see seven and three eighths. So seven and three eighths, and then I make a line here. It's important that when I made this line that I'm trying to keep the tape measure perpendicular or 90 degrees. So there's a you know 90 degree triangle here, 90 degree here, so that we get an accurate measurement. B is a little bit more arbitrary, and it falls between A and C. And that measurement was six. So now I'm gonna come here to the wide part, or ball of the foot, and right behind the, the knuckle here, at the ball of the foot, there's another joint. And so I'm gonna go from this joint to the knuckle over here, and that is five and one half. And I'm gonna again make a mark. The most important measurement to get correct is the E measurement, where I go from the bottom of the heel all the way around and back up to the top. And we can see that that measurement, and I make a little circle with an arrow, almost like an at sign, and I'll put 12 there. The last measurement is the K measurement. And that is the Achilles heel tendon where it is the deepest on her, on this particular person. And that measurement is three. So K equals three. Tracing with an orthotic. Put yourself on the orthotic. And the same roll, 45 degrees in. And the same roll up down. Now we have this extra material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it up and now I want to trace up and down the foot. So I get a much different more rough tracing but it does provide, sorry about that, provide the information I need for the boot. And the measurements go exactly the same, which I will show you in the next step. I've removed the green paper because it's no longer necessary. And from now on, I'll be taking notes on the green paper off camera. The next measurement that's really important for me is to figure out the largest circumference of the customer's calf that we're gonna be making a pattern for. I can see that on her, that measuring from the floor, I should say, that's 13. 12 and a half, 13. Let's go with 12 and a half. I see from the floor, it's 12 and a half is the largest circumference of her calf. At that point, I'm going to take a measurement of the circumference of her calf. 
and I find that it's falling at 15. I'll need these measurements no matter how high you want your boot. Now, let's start with a whole bunch of F and I measurements for different style boots. Remember, G and H I need for any style boot for a reference point. Let's say that the customer is wanting a low, just above the ankle boot. So let's pick F equals four. I will take her circumference at four inches of her leg and that equals nine and a half. So F equals four and I equals nine and a half. If she wanted a mid calf boot, that's gonna be nine, F equals nine. And I'm gonna measure the circumference. Now it's very close to where G is, but it doesn't matter, I need it anyway, and we see that it's approximately 15 inches. If the customer wants an above the knee boot, I see that above the knee boot, when holding my tape here, we see a good spot at being 18 inches. So I will take a circumference with F equal 18, her eye measurement equals 17. For a tall campaign boot, I would prefer not to make the boot any taller than when the feet are shoulder width apart that the skin is touching. So I can see on this particular uh, person that that measurement looks to be 23 and a half. And that's right about there. So I then, F will equal 23 and a half, and I will equal 23. That's a common thing in folks. Don't get confused if the numbers are similar. I just need F is height and I is circumference. Now let's talk about J and work ourselves down the boot. Normally I like to add three inches. So let's take the tape now to 26 because J is expressed as a plus number. Generally, it's a number expressed plus two, plus three, plus four. At three inches at 26, we can see how much the boot is cuffed. If she were to cuff it down like a pirate, we can see how much cuffing is going to occur. And we can see that that's three. So four would be a gross over exaggeration, so three is good. If we go to above the knee boot, where her measurement is 18, we'll go to 21, as was a plus three. Okay, this is where J is plus three. And we can see the, the cuff of the boot looks pretty good. But if she was gonna do a pirate and wanted it really more narrow, she could pick a plus two, and we could see that this is the gusset or cuff or extra material in the boot. If she wants a calf boot, again, I like three. So, 15 goes to 18, and this is how much room will be in the boot. Now some people like it smaller, so then J could be expressed as plus two, and then the measurement would be 17, and you can see how the cuff of the boot goes. And this will work all the way through the boot. Wherever you find where you want your boot in height, express the J as a plus number, which is basically your I number, plus the extra room that you want. Generally expressed again as a plus two, plus three, and at most a plus four. If you are following my Shop Night channel, you have everything you need to get started on your own pattern. Refer to the episode that sent you here and let's get started. Now for my custom historical footwear customers, you'll need to mail me your tracings and measurements for both your right and your left foot be sure to include your contact information on the inside of the envelope. Yep, I'm talking about snail mail. Taking a photo with your phone or scanning it will not be helpful to me. I can't relay with words how incredibly rewarding it is to make something fun and cool with you um, using these videos, and I'm really looking forward to it. And please check out my YouTube Shop Night channel where I make a gift for a deserving person in our community in one or two evenings using scrap from around the shop. And of course, please visit my website, bootsbybohemian.com, for all kinds of historical footwear and Viking coolness.